AFC Totten faced league strugglers Bashley in the Red Insure Cup. Both teams started brightly, trying to create in the wide areas. It was Bashley who got the best of the chances after a penalty was given for a pull in the area. Will Lambert stepped up and sent the keeper the wrong way. Totten kept creating chances in the first half with a couple of close attempts, most once again coming from the wide area. After a while the pressure paid off and Tony Lee smashed the ball into the net. Bashley kept going and their shot from the edge of the area was fumbled by Kieran Green and ended up in the goal. Warren Squibb's goal was celebrated by the travelling fans. Yes! Yes! Totten was searching for a goal before the break and the pressure was on Bashley. This showed when a rash challenge was made. Totten punished the away side with a clever free kick and finish. Tony Lee was at it again just a week on from his signing. In stoppage time, Rob Gillett was sent off after a debatable handball out of his area. It was a hard decision for the referee, but in the replay, there is a hand raised so it could have been the right one. Steve Hollick's team looked to start the second half quickly and within two minutes they had the lead. Taylor Edwards with a slight deflection into the top corner. Totten pushed harder and Bashley's missing player began to show as they got their two goal advantage and Lee completed his hat trick. Bashley became tired and Totten were having all the shots. Nick Watts this time with a clever finish outside the box. Yeah! Watts then got another in a goal mouth scrap. Yeah! It was a simple finish for him in the end with the Bashley defenders left stranded. Nick Watts then completed his hat trick with another deflection. After the cup win, the Stags manager had this to say. It's exciting, yeah, it was a good game. Um, firstly, credit to Bashley for um, you know, making a fight of it. It's, it's difficult when you go down to 10, especially in those circumstances. But you know, they didn't stop for 90 minutes, so um, yeah, credit to them. Yeah, um, how disappointed were you with the two goals you conceded early on? Yeah, one's a soft penalty. That's cost us a couple of times this season already. So, uh, you know, we've got to be careful about what we say about referees. But from where we were, it was a bit of, bit of a soft decision. And then yeah, somehow the balls ended up in the back of the net with, um, you know, sort of just dribbled in there. So for the second goal. So, yeah, to go in at sort of two all was a bit, bit, of a, bit of an odd game, really. So I don't think, you know, on the passage of players, I don't think they had a, a massive amount in the first half. But so, yeah, to go in 2 0, uh, 2 all, it was a bit, of a bit of a strange one, really. Yeah, um, do you have a good view of the red card? I think there's a sending off. It's, I think it's always going to be a sending off when the, when the keeper's flying out of his box. And um, yeah, I think as a goalkeeper, I would have probably been expecting that as well. So yeah, I think think so. I think it's fair, fair call in the end. Yeah, but were you happy performance wise? Do you feel you could you would have pushed on and won the game even without even without sending off? Yeah, I think so. I think we had, like I say, we had a, we had a lot of possession in the first half as well. So and we created a, a, a lot of chances. You know, set pieces were good again, and you know that's, that's a big plus for us. Um, but yeah, I think even with with eleven, I think we would have fancied our chances going on and, and getting a couple more. Yeah, and uh, finally the two hat trick boys. How pleased were you with their performances? Oh, brilliant! Yeah, I mean we we obviously we know about what's his quality um, all the time, so and he's a threat going forward, especially coming off the wing. Him and Goss, you know, they work really well together. But especially pleased with Tony, you know, being on his debut as well for us. Um, so for us, it's, it's a key signing and, and hopefully that will um, spur us on for the next couple of weeks when we've, we've got some tough fixtures coming up.